Our dear Joe, thank you so much for always being the searchlight and shining the spotlight on all the issues and solutions that help all of us create a safer and a better place for all. How do we express our love and appreciation for all you do? Let us count the ways. Joe, congratulations on 10 years of leading patient safety here in the United States, but also globally. Despite the setback of COVID, you have us back on track to make healthcare safe again. Thank you so much for what you do. And thank you for your family and your love and your help for all of us to make healthcare safe. Thank you so much, Joe. It's my pleasure and privilege to salute Joe Chiani on his receipt of a humanitarian award from the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. I was born in 1966, and that's a year that's famous for a speech that Robert Kennedy gave at the University of Cape Town, when he said that it's from numberless small acts of courage and belief that human history is made. Each time a man stands up for an ideal, strikes out against injustice, or acts to improve the lot of others. He sends forth a tiny ripple of hope and crossing each other from a million different points of energy and daring, those ripples form a current that can sweep down the mightiest walls of oppression and resistance. And that is the story of Joe's life from the inspirational way that he built up Massimo to his championing of patient safety and his championing of the importance of zero. If we believe in human life, then one avoidable death is one too many. Joe's someone who I drew great inspiration from when I was health secretary in the United Kingdom. He helped me on my patient safety journey as I know he's helped many, many others. So I'm thrilled he's getting that award today. Joe, congratulations. We're all so proud of you from across the pond. Hi, Joe. It's a huge honor for me to be able to offer my congratulations to you today. You've led the way in transforming how we are able to monitor patients. But in the last 10 years, in founding and leading the Patient Safety Movement Foundation, you've brought energy, dynamism, and commitment to the much wider field of patient safety. Not just seeing the patient as a subject needing healthcare, but as an equal and necessarily a leading partner in the design and delivery of their own healthcare. Your vision of transparency and measurement of harm alongside the development of evidence-based solutions has been a guiding light to your industry, but up to also to the many healthcare professionals that you've influenced. Thank you again for your leadership and for your ongoing support for the, to the foundation. You've always shown the importance of our ethical values in placing the patient and their needs at the heart of our actions. Our patients will continue to need your time and energy, and I'm looking forward to another decade of action to improve the safety of all our patients in whatever setting they need help, whether that's in the hospital or increasingly at home. So thank you for your previous and ongoing commitment and look forward to working to you, with you for many years to come. Thank you for being you. Thank you for saving lives. Thank you for all you do. Congratulations, my friend. Dearest Joe, esteemed guests, colleagues, and friends. Joe, my dear friend, my heartfelt congratulations on receiving this award. It's a testament to your unwavering commitment to achieving zero preventable harm in healthcare. Your relentless pursuit to improve patient safety worldwide is an inspiration to so many of us. I'm privileged to have witnessed firsthand your tireless efforts and dedication to this important cause. Under your leadership, 5,000 hospitals around the globe have publicly committed to zero preventable deaths reporting close to 100,000 lives saved. 
annually. The Patient Safety Movement Foundation and the World Health Organization are aligned in our vision to eliminate avoidable harm in healthcare by 2030. The quest is not an easy one, but thanks to the dedication of professionals like you, we're closer than ever to this goal. Congratulations once again, and I look forward to our continued partnership. I thank you. Hello to everyone attending the Patient Safety Movement Foundation's 2023 Annual Summit. I am so pleased to join you today to congratulate my good friend Joe Kiani on receiving the 2023 Humanitarian Award. Joe, I can't think of anyone more deserving. You've dedicated your career to boosting patient safety and improving people's lives. From the early days back when Massimo was just a small startup to now being at the helm of a global medical technological company that helps patients around the world. The technology you created is now used everywhere from hospitals and doctor's offices to personal health devices. And by founding and leading the Patient Safety Movement Foundation, you brought together leaders from across the healthcare and med tech sectors to work together to address the more than 200,000 preventable patient deaths that occur each year. That's why this honor is so incredibly well earned. But I know you're not gonna be resting on your laurels. You'll continue to be a relentless and effective advocate for patient safety. And you'll continue pushing for a future where we eliminate preventable patient deaths once and for all. So congratulations, keep up the great work, enjoy the rest of the summit. Here's a toast to you, you know, Senate water, budget cuts, maybe you're drinking something better this evening, but have fun, you deserve it. I'm Waits here. Uh, I've been a friend of the Keani family for 10, 15 years. Fabulous people, Joseph and such a lot of good for a lot of people. Both he and Sarah are right in there with philanthropy. It's uh, an honor to know them and much deserved award and how many people have their own chat. We love him. Peace. Joe, I wrote a special rhyme for this occasion. So here goes. We all know that Joe is smart and also very kind, but very few have seen the ways he opened up my mind. He came to see his senator. That happened to be me. He said there were some simple steps to set the patients free free from fear that errors and a lack of clever choices could cause a patient pain and worse. Joe said, listen, hear their voices. So patient safety is key to me. It's clearly here to stay. And all of it we owe to Joe. His passion led the way. Joe, your commitment to children, to families, to all of us, all over the world, it's really legendary. Congratulations on your award. Hello, this is Fred Harris, contributing my congratulations to Joe Kiani for winning the Humanitarian Award from the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. Joe and I go back a long time. We are part of Mutual Admiration Society. He thinks I'm a neat professor. I think he was a neat student. And we appreciate each other's contribution to the general world. And I would like to add my positive uh, support of the award he has been receiving today. And I would like to have been present, but I can't. I work and I have a day job, but I have Joe in mind often and think of him in only very positive ways. Joe, congratulations. Say hello to the family. Uh, congratulations for everything you've done besides this obvious award. Well deserved. Thank you very much and hope to get to see you soon. You have a great day. Sayonara and later. Hi, Joe. Kathy Andriff here, past president of the Chalk Medical Staff. 
Through my time working with you on our board, you have always been such an inspiration to all of us in prioritizing patient safety and highly reliable quality care. Working to eliminate patient harm sounds so simple, yet it's harder than it appears to the outside world. You have always challenged us to find a way to make even the simplest everyday process safer and more reliable, to seal up those Swiss cheese holes and to not accept anything more than zero. Congratulations on this well-deserved humanitarian award and thank you for all that you do. Hey Joe, this is Sal Maya from Allied Anesthesia. On behalf of all the anesthesiologists here at Allied, we want to say congratulations. My name is Kim Kripe, and I'm the president and CEO of Chalk Children's Hospital of Orange County. I've had the good fortune to know Joe Chiani for a number of years, first as a business leader, then as a Chalk board member, and finally as a dear friend. It is really difficult to limit my admiration of Joe to just a few minutes, but if I were to sum up Joe Chiani, I would call him a hardworking and energetic, humble visionary who has a real gift for inspiring those around him. One of the many interests that Joe and I share is the field of patient safety. As the president and CEO of a pediatric health system, I believe that patient safety is an active, not passive pursuit. And I have found Joe to be a kindred spirit and valuable partner. Joe dedicates vast amounts of time and energy in challenging our team to not only focus on process improvement for patient safety, but also explore innovative ways to make patient safety top of mind for everyone at CHOP. From our frontline clinicians and caregivers to our environmental and food services staff. Joe's passion for patient safety extends beyond his own company at Massimo and his board leadership at Chalk. As the founder of the Global Patient Safety Movement Foundation, Joe saw a growing number of preventable patient deaths in healthcare and created a nonprofit organization dedicated to eliminating medical errors across the continuum. Joe's passion and work through the foundation has not only deeply impacted Chalk, but have also made significant impacts nationally and globally. The fact that Joe is being honored with the Humanitarian Award at the annual World Patient Safety Science and Technology Summit is not at all surprising to me. This annual award acknowledges leaders who have made significant progress in eliminating preventable patient harm and death so that we might all reach our shared goal of zero preventable patient harm and death in the hospital. I can't think of anyone more fitting than Joe Chiani to accept this most prestigious award. I've witnessed his courage, conviction, and vision on numerous occasions. Joe is a source of inspiration to everyone who has ever spent time with him. Joe, congratulations for being recognized for your advocacy efforts in service of patient safety. You are one of a kind, and I'm so grateful that you have chosen to share your talents with so many of us. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Capon. I work at Children's Hospital of Orange County in California and I'm the Chief Quality and Patient Safety Officer and an ICU physician here. Through the last decade, we've been uh, working closely with the Patient Safety Movement Foundation and Mr. Kiani in our roles to advance patient safety. We recognize very much his national and then world leadership when it comes to preventing uh, harm and, and reducing preventable deaths. And we very much also appreciate the specific emphasis he's given in our environment in, in applying that care to children. When it doesn't go perfectly, we also uh, are very, very um, appreciative that Mr. Kiani has always made sure that the staff, the families, the associates are doing okay and are supported the way they need to be as well. Now we've achieved some great milestones here, um, but whenever we have those tougher conversations, we've noted that Mr. Kiani is exceptionally interested in the actual child, perhaps what the name of the child is, how's the family doing, what might we do better, and that very personal leadership is evidence of how much he cares here. So on behalf of the some 5,000 associates and physicians that work here at Children's Hospital of Orange County, many of whose signatures are on the wall behind me, I recognize Joe and say congratulations on this humanitarian award. Very well deserved and we look forward to the time that we have to come.